Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another Champions League recap video. So first of all, I will be doing a recap of the Sevilla and the Dortmund game, and then in another video, I will do a recap of the Juventus and the Porto game. So let's get started, shall we? So what can I say about this series, man? This was a heck of a series between both uh, clubs. You know, I'm talking about uh, right now Borussia Dortmund and Sevilla because Holland, on the other hand, man, he continues to show why he's the ultimate dark horse. Uh, dark, I mean, not dark horse, but Dortmund have continued to show why they are a dark horse team, in my opinion the Champions League this year besides, you know, uh, besides uh, RB Leipzig, you know, despite me being a Bayern fan, I got to give this Borussia Dortmund team credit, man. We could be facing them if we manage to win against Lazio next week. We could be facing them in the next round. So that'll be a pretty exciting and interesting Der Klassiker Champions League matchup. But first of all, man, Erling Brau to Holland, man, he's the ultimate difference maker for Borussia Dortmund. And Borussia Dortmund, man, they are incredibly lucky to have a striker in Holland because let me tell you something, man, Holland in both legs are just an absolute stud. I mean, what else can you describe Holland? He's without a doubt, in my opinion, going to be the best striker in the in the Bundesliga once Lewandowski, you know, in my opinion, retires. And, you know, say that Holland does stay at Dortmund, he's, in my opinion, going to be able to, I have to say, break Lewandowski's records in the Bundesliga by far. Because, I mean, think about it. Holland's goal-scoring record at this point is absolutely crazy. And he could be on pace to break Lewandowski's record if, if he just continues his fine performances like this. Because I'm, I'm just serious, man. Holland, what else can you say about this guy, man? Despite me being a Bayern fan, this guy is the ultimate freaking... Uh, he could be the successor to Lewandowski in the Bundesliga if he chooses to stay at Dortmund or if he's going to want to go to a different club. I have no idea. But right now, man, Holland, he could... Uh, his magic right now is just the ultimate, ultimate difference maker for Borussia Dortmund. And it's crazy because, I mean, without Holland, I don't think Borussia Dortmund would be, uh, would be going this far. But right now, man, with Royce, with Holland, I think they are the two key players players for for, uh, for Borussia Dortmund in this Champions League year but it still depends on whether or not Holland is going to continue to give off consistent performances like this in the rest of the Champions League because against PSG last year he kind of disappeared I think in the second leg it was but tonight man um what a game what a freaking uh series and Sevilla man they should be proud of themselves man Sevilla I was also very very impressed with Sevilla's performances they I thought that uh I knew I kind of knew that Borussia Dortmund were going to win this series because I mean Holland today Sevilla just had no answer for Holland and that's why they were able to uh to win this game and so so what can I say about this uh about this uh game and this series, man? Just overall absolutely exciting, man. If you're a football fan, I hope that you got the chance to watch this game because unfortunately I freaking didn't because I had school. That's why I'm doing a recap right now. So please bear with me here because my schedule has changed kind of like in the last two months or so. But on the other hand, man, um Borussia Dortmund 8, they're going further and Sevilla. You guys have nothing to be ashamed of. You have a hell of a team and I would love to see Sevilla again in the Champions League. But uh, I think that's going to be it here with the video. Nothing much else to say except that what a freaking exciting series between Dortmund and Sevilla. But in the end, man, Dortmund, they got the upper advantage over Sevilla and they are going further. So really, I think that Borussia Dortmund, as long as Holland has his killer instinct on Borussia Dortmund and he can just have that deadly eye for goal, then for sure Borussia Dortmund, I think, could be a Champions League contender. And uh, I, I hope that as a Bayern fan, we manage to meet Borussia Dortmund again because that would be uh, another fun uh, Dirk Law Secret Champions League matchup. Because last time we had a Dirk Law Secret Champions League matchup would have to be 2013, the final. So I would love to see it again, you know, as a, as a Bayern fan and just a regular football fan, man. What uh, let's bring on Dortmund in the next leg. But that is, of course, if we win the second leg and if the results stay. So, anyways, ladies and gents, I think that's it here with the video here. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the Juventus and the Porto recap.